Hi guys, welcome back to episode 5 of Slashing It with Matt and today we are going to talk about Spirit Halloween the movie. So a few weeks back um, I saw an article um, and read some information about this movie and I'm like okay a Spirit Halloween film. I'm like that could be interesting you know. Um, initially I thought oh you know it's probably gonna be kind of cheesy but you know every city we live in has a Spirit Halloween so to bring a movie surrounding that I thought was pretty cool. So, you know, a couple weeks go by, I don't hear much. Read another article, find out that Christopher Lloyd is going to be one of the actors in it. And I'm like, okay, well, how bad can this be if they're um, going to throw this actor in that has plenty of experience and he's not a, you know, a B-list actor? You know, he's from uh, Back to the Future. Like, to me, that that's a solid actor to bring to this film, which to me seems so small. So yesterday I see the trailer and it is not at all... Uh, what I expected. Um, I expected more of a uh, slasher film with teenagers being stuck into the store. Uh, that's not at all what I got. So basically what this trailer shows is it's these three young boys, I'd say, you know, mid-teens, and they want to get into some trouble on Halloween night and do the coolest thing ever. So they basically go into um, Spirit Halloween, it closes, they get locked inside. What happens? All the animatronics come alive, they start fighting them off, and let me just say, that's kind of what I expected, but in, a, I guess, a more violent way. I thought there was going to be brutal deaths and things like that. It was going to be that, you know, big slasher. It's just, I don't know why I thought that, but I did. But kind of what I got from this trailer was more of, like, Goosebumps 1 and 2. Uh, kind of mimicked Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween from uh, 2018. That's kind of exactly what I saw. Um, which is fine. Um, you know, I know they have a market for it with, you know, you know, kids probably between the ages of 10 and 12, maybe even a little bit younger. But to me, this movie is something that I think my seven-year-old would see. Um, I'm not saying it's bad. Um, I'm not saying the movie will be bad. I just, it wasn't what I wanted from it. You know, I wanted something more violent, something that told more of a story. And I'm not saying that this movie won't have a story. Um, I think with Christopher Lloyd in this movie, it is going to have some kind of haunted ghost story um, that kind of surrounds it, as we saw in the trailer. And it appears like something happened many, many years ago and could be connected to what's happening now inside of this store with all of these masks, animatronics, basically everything in the store coming to life, attacking these kids. But it just seems in such a uh, unviolent way. So I'm like, okay, well, like I said, you know, it's going to be for that preteen target audience, not for adults. So, you know, maybe one day I will go and check this movie out. Maybe not. It, it all depends. You know, maybe my daughter will want to see it. But, you know, I'm not too upset about it. There's plenty of good horror movies coming out this year. We have Bodies, Bodies, Bodies coming out this Friday. Um, we have Orphan First Kill coming out, I believe, at the end of August. Uh, we have Halloween Ends coming out. Um, next year we have Scream 6 coming out in March. So there's a lot to look forward to. I'm not going to let one movie, um, you know, spoil that, you know, just because I think it's more targeted for younger kids. But, um, you know, let me know what you guys think about this movie. Um, I'd like to get some comments on here, some debates, like, you know, is this something you guys would want to see? You know, I don't know if you like slashers more or, you know, more watered down horror films. I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, you know, at the end of the day. But um, for me, I probably will not see this movie. It's just, it's not, I guess, in my realm of movies I like to watch, especially during Halloween, you know. But I do have kids, so, you know, it definitely would be something I consider. It's just not my type of film. So if you guys want to, you know, let me know what you think about this movie. Um, watch the trailer if you haven't. Um, comment. Um, my goal here is to get to a hundred subscribers as soon as possible. And then at that point I can start giving away some merchandise. So to me, you know, that's really exciting. Um, and could be exciting for you too. So please slash that subscribe button and I will see you guys for episode six.